Hey everybody, it's Kent. So I did a live video yesterday showing off or unboxing all these books. I'm going to do a little faster wrap up video showing off them all. This video will be a lot quicker without all the unwrapping and um, stuff. So a little bit faster if you didn't watch that whole live video. Here's a quick summary. We have a, uh, The House of Seven Gables by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Really pretty binding. Quite a variety of books I've been buying. We have uh, Poetical Works of Lord Byron. Again, a nice Victorian binding. Um, Alfred Tennyson's poems. Again, pretty binding. Oh, I thought there was one more binding to match that. Maybe it was just those two. And again, Gilted Edge. We love that. Uh, the ABC of B Culture. I think this one's from 1880. Yep, 1880, the, a the ABC of Bee Culture, a cyclopedia of everything pertaining to the care of the honeybee, bees, honeys, hives, implements, honey plants, etc., etc., by A.I. Root, published in 1880. Uh, this one, I think, is illustrated, yep. Again, there's a million different editions of this one. I think the first edition was from the 1860s, maybe. Um, up until today, I think they're still publishing editions of that one. Uncle Tom's Cabin by Harriet Beecher Stowe. Classic anti-slavery novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin or Life Among the Lowly by Harriet Beecher Stowe, published in 1885. Pretty good condition. Uh, Ancient Egypt, I think this one's by George Rawlinson. Uh, published in 1895. Again, I think this one's illustrated. I think there's some illustrations and maps in this one. The Great and Second Pyramids. Very cool. Uh, Black's Guidebook for England. Picturesque Tours of England. This one's full of maps. Lots of folding maps in this one. Let's see what we got. We got Derbyshire. Pretty cool. Road maps. Oops, guess it would help if I folded it correctly. Uh, Life of Sitting Bull in the Indian War. Uh, this one's really common, but to find it um, in this nice of conditions, kind of tough. Life of Sitting Bull and History of the Indian War of 1890 to 1891 by W. Fletcher Johnson, illustrated, copyright 1891. Uh, this one has a ton of illustrations of different Indian chiefs. There's a young man afraid of his horses. Interesting Indian name. There's Standing Holly, looks like the daughter of Sitting Bull. Looks like a medicine man. Got Custer's Last Stand. Again, lots of nice illustrations. Really great condition. Uh, most of these will probably be up on eBay here in the next couple weeks. Um, maybe two or three weeks a lot of these will be up. The Treasure Book of Children's Verse. This one, I just really love the binding. With the peacock on the... Oh, power just went out. That's not ideal. Oh, power's back on. Okay. Back to work. Uh, the Treasure Books of Children's Verse. And again, really awesome binding on that one. Uh, we have a medical book on gynecology. Geological history. A nice Life of George Washington. Life of George Washington by Aaron Bancroft. No date, but I would guess 1890s. Pretty nice. True Grit, The Adventures of Two Lads in Western Africa. Faith Cotterill. Yarrow, It's Poets and Poetry. Engraving, It's Origin, Processes and History. I think that was from the 1890s. 
engraving its uh, origin, processes, and histories. Uh, 1886, actually. I think this one is illustrated as well. Cool book on the history of engraving. The Marvel of Nations. Nice book on U.S. history. The Marvel of Nations, Our Country, Its Past, Present, and Future, and What the Scripture Says of It by Uriah Smith, 1887. Awesome frontispiece with the eagle and the flags and the shield. Pretty cool. Uh, we have two volumes, History of Creation. History of Creation or Development of the Earth and Its Inhabitants by the Action of Natural Causes by Ernst Haeckel. Uh, this is a translation by E. Ray Lancaster, 4th edition, in two volumes, published in 1896. The Gazetteer of uh, Massachusetts, nice big book on Massachusetts, by Reverend uh, Elias Nason, revised and enlarged by George W. Varney, published in 1890. Cool book on Massachusetts. Let me see if I can scoot some of these out of the way. This one's kind of cool. It's been rebound, but it has the original spine or the spine cloth pasted over the new binding. Helps and hints how to protect life and property with instructions in rifle and pistol shooting, etc. 1835, published in London. Cool book on self defense. How to keep yourself and your property safe. Oh, there's a book on, or a little plate with rifle shooting. Oh, fighting with sticks. Not the best mode of self-defense, but cool book. All the poems of Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Again, the nice, pretty Victorian binding. Jack Hinton by Charles Lever. Um, this is volume one, published in 1843. Got two volumes set of The Virginians by William Makepeace Thackeray. Um, volume 1 was published in 1858. Volume 2 was published in 1859. I guess it would help if I got them in order. There we go. Uh, Tales from Hans Christian Andersen. Cool book on fairy tales. You got Mother Nature. You got the Storks. You got Thumbelina. Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen, illustrated by E. A. Lehman, 1894. See what stories this one has. We have The Little Mermaid, The Darning Needle, The Storks, The Nightingale, The Little Toddy, The Naughty Boy, The Bell, The Little Claws and Big Claws. Hmm, don't recognize some of the titles. Some of them are classics, though. See what they got for the Little Mermaid. Any illustrations of the Little Mermaid? Pretty cool. The Little Mermaid rescues the prince. Alright, we got the Farmer's Shop book. This one will probably go in the bookstore here in Marshfield. 
like this one has everything on like machine repair, repair, barn building, metal work, woodwork, forging, welding, leather work, chain, rope. Cabinet building. Everything you need to know for the farm. Five Weeks in a Balloon by Jules Verne. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll know I've been buying uh, tons and tons of Jules Verne lately. Not exactly a Verne specialist, but certainly have a lot of it lately. Five Weeks in a Balloon, A Voyage of the Exploration of and Discovery in Central Africa, translated from the French of Jules Verne, second edition, 1874, illustrated. Whoa, a close shape. Very exciting. Uh, we have, here we have India and its inhabitants. This one's nicely illustrated. India and its inhabitants by Caleb Wright. Illustrated, published in 1856. I'll show you some of the illustrations in this one. A lot of cool stuff on Indian culture and Hindu religion. Archaeology kind of stuff. There we have a Hindu family carrying offerings to an idol. A lot of stuff on uh, different religious aspects of India culture. Again, cool book uh, from. 1856 on India, pretty awesome. Alice in Wonderland, not the flashiest binding in the world, but pretty good condition. Color frontispiece. Alice and the Duchess. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, illustrated by John Tenniel. No date, I would guess 1920s-ish. Trinidad. See what this one is. It looks like it's in French. Trinidad Journal of Missionary Dominican. Published in eighteen ninety three. Again, it's in French, so I cannot read that one. Worthies of the world. Lives of great men of all countries. We've got Shakespeare, Sir Walter Raleigh, Luther, Nelson, Wellington, Chatham, Julius Caesar, Socrates, etc., etc. Warriors, sailors, poets, monarchs, statesmen, patriots, reformers, thinkers, writers. And a pretty nice binding on that one. All right, up next looks like we have an old sermon book. Very old one. Oh, uh, what is that number? 18 Sermons on Several Occasions by Samuel Clark, 3rd edition, published in 1734. Very old, 1734, so this book's about 300 years old. Pretty cool old sermon book. Up next, we have a textbook, A Vegetable and Animal Physiology by Henry Godeby, 1858. This one is illustrated. I think there's even some color illustrations in this one. See if I can find one to show you. There you go, a bunch of them. And I think there's more than that actually. There we go, there's another one. Looks like I'm a jellyfish. Pretty cool old book. Uh, we got three odd volumes of uh, Bronte. Uh, we have Shirley, the Professor, and the Life of Charlotte Bronte. Pretty cool bindings with the floral design. Uh, we got the big old berry book. I used to have a whole collection of these um, big old farm library books. Um, there's one on livestock, one on horses, cattle, pigs, sheep, one on berries. One on beekeeping, one on orchards. Um, trying to think what other ones there were, but these are all, um, all of the different volumes have color plates as well. Oh, there's one on poultry. Don't think I mentioned that one. Who 
Ooh, those strawberries look good. Again, cool big old berry book. Um, this is two volumes of the uh, pictorial field book of the Civil War. This is just volume one and two. I think there's a volume three to this set as well um, that I need to track down to complete it. Um, nice leather ones. I think they had a few different leather styles of this set. All right, we have uh, Rollins Ancient History, complete in two volumes. Start with volume one. The ancient history of the Egyptians, Carthaginians, Assy Car Carthaginians, Assyrians, Babylonians, Medes and Persians, Macedonians, and Grecians by Charles Rollin in two volumes. I don't think this one's dated, but I would guess it's from 1850s or 1860s. Again, nice two volume set. All right, we got a nice, um, not exactly matching same publisher, slightly different colors. That one's kind of a more of a tealish, bluish green. Um, we have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and then the sequel through the Looking Glass and what Alice found there. Um, these aren't super early. Um, yeah, I think they're both from 1948. We got the Cheshire cat disappearing. There he is, sitting in a tree, talking to Alice. Oh, we got the Mad Tea Party. Let's see if I can find the famous "Off with Your Head." I think that's how that goes. Cool Alice set, nice condition. Here we have Hayden's Dictionary Dates, a nice thick, ooh, got the marbled page edges and then the end papers. I always like when they match like that. The edges are maybe a little faded, but it's always cool when they match, match designs like that. Hayden's Dictionary of Dates and Universal Information Related to All, Na All Ages and Nations by Benjamin Vincent, Vincent, 1881. Let's see. Let's see if we can find something interesting. Crimea, a, a peninsula in the Euxine or Black Sea, the ancient Tarishian Chernesis, colonized by the Greeks about 1550 B.C., the Milesians founded the kingdom of Bolporus, now Kerch, which about 108 BC formed part of the dominion of Mithracides, king of Pontus, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure I just mispronounced every other word in that uh, description, but what can you do? Uh, we got two nice uh, Wizard of Oz books. We have The Road to Oz by L. Frank Baum. And then we have The Shaggy Man of Oz by Jack Snow. Um, most people know um, the L. Frank Baum titles and maybe the Ruth um, Plumley Thompson titles. But Jack Snow, I think, also wrote a few continuing with the Wizard of Oz stories. And the book's in really good condition. The dust jacket's a little on the rough side, but... It's all right. At least it protected the cover nicely. All right, we have manners, cultures, and dress. Culture and dress. This book has everything on etiquette, letter writing, business, dress, fashion, dinner parties, weddings, funerals. Everything you need to know about etiquette from 1893. Cool book on etiquette. Uh, we have the American Sci um, the Scientific American Cyclopedia of Re Receipts, Notes, Queries. Um, this is a cool science recipe type book. Um, and I guess not just recipes, but everything you need to know about different science topics. 
Let's see, we got soaps, rubbers, pickles, explosives, cider, wood, welding, water, syrups, soaps, pyrotechnics, polishing, photography. And again, like every topic, there's a bunch of different recipes. So this one, let's see, we have flashlight powder to burn, flashlight powders, glass substitute, um, lots of different topics on photography, oils, liquors, inks, hair, foils, feet, electro um, metallurgy, dyeing, huge section on dyeing, cosmetics, cleansing, cider, cement, candles, bronzing, brass, blacking, beers, alloys, Etc. 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 Just tons and tons and tons of different science subjects in this one. It's one of my favorite kind of recipe slash science how-to books. Uh, forging practice. This one's not very old. It'll probably go in the bookstore here in Marshfield. Uh, we got three nice, pretty Victorian fine bindings. Jean Ingelo. Favorite poems. And Pope's poems. I don't know the dates on these. Um, I would guess 1880s or 1890s. Again, my favorite style binding there. And you got the gilt page edges. That's always a plus. Makes the book just a hair more attractive. What do we have here? Under the Red Rose. Nothing too exciting about that one. Poetical works of Robert Browning. Oh, volume two. Check out the little flower. Heroes of the Elizabethan Age. Longfellow's Poetical Works, another pretty binding. Another Robert uh, Browning poetical work book. Uh, Playground and Parlor. Um, this is a book on home amusements, uh, magic tricks, sports, archery, um, cricket, billiards, um, card games, charades, all that stuff. Let's see what we got. Looks like we got some odd toys there. Oh, we got some science, science and um, spearmint type stuff. We have some cards. Looks like we have cards and a chessboard. A few other things. I'm not sure what they are. And then over here, you have the uh, sports equipment. You got the tennis racket, the cricket. I think it's a cricket paddle. Um, what's that called with the with the loops and you hit them? Um, Shoot, what is that called? What is that game called? You know, the... Lo oh, Crick. No, not Cricket. Shoot, I know I saw it. Bowl skating. Croquet. There we go, Croquet. That was what I was thinking of. And there you can see the Croquet ball and the hoop and the... Pat the um, What do you call it? A mallet? Uh, here's a nice, pretty, long, long fellow poetical works. Really nice, pretty binding on that one. And I love it when they uh, decorate the rear cover as well. It's completely unnecessary. Um, a lot of bindings have a nice front cover and a nice spine. But it's always nice when they put some detail and work into the rear cover as well. The Wide, Wide World by Elizabeth uh, Weather, Weatherell, Christmas Carols, Old and New, Let's see if we recognize any of them, God Messed Ye Very Gentlemen, da, 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 da. Remember Christ Our Savior Was Born on Christmas Day, to save us from all tidings of classic. 
New prints, new pop. Nope, don't recognize that one. The Morning Star, don't know that one. Shepherds went their hasty way. Nope. Uh, this one was published in the UK, so I'm sure some of them are a little different. Um, should recognize some of them. Hmm. Christmas song, Dives and Lazarus. We three kings, there we go. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. We traverse a far field and fountain, more mountain, following yonder star. Classic. Uh, here again, we have another set of Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass with the dust jackets. Dust jackets aren't perfect, but they survived. That's always good. And beautiful green cloth bindings underneath. These are from 1954. And again, to find them with the dust jackets is kind of tough. And they did survive pretty nicely. Now I'm going to be thinking of Christmas carols the rest of the day. Um, here's not a super impressive long poet, Longfellow's poetic works, kind of banged up, banged and beat up, but that's all right. Uh, we have Hood's poetical works. That's a pretty, pretty Victorian fine binding on that one. Looks like an old religious book. So we got 39 sermons on several occasions by Reverend John Cook, volume one, published in 1729. So yeah, that one's coming up on 300 years old. Let's see what we got. We have a, a sermon on vanity, the necessity and um, prevalence of divine reasoning. We have a sermon on prayer, a sermon on the being enmity. Oh, who's calling? Mom's calling. I better ignore her. All right, sermon on being enmity, Fierceness and cunning of the devil and are uh, resisting him. Sermon on the nature, necessity, and efficacy of cleansing duties. Pretty cool. Old religious book. Fables de la Fontaine. Looks like volume one in French. Published in 1799 in Paris. Oh, looks like another very old book. Uh, the True Christian's Further Defense Against the Late Principles and Reasonings of the Moral Philosopher by John Chapman, published in 1741. Um, this one's a little banged up, but I guess could be worse for being 300 years old. Almost 300, 280 years old. Looks like another old sermon book. Sermons Upon the Following Subjects by John Orr, Volume 1, Second Edition, published in 1750. Get you a close-up on the list of sermon subjects. Looks like the Iliad of, of Homer, translated by Pope, but Volume 5, published in 1771. Again, just odd volume, and I think there's a bunch of other Iliad odd volumes here. Some passages in the life and death of John Earl of Rochester. Published in 1787. And look what they did to the frontispiece. They cut out the portrait of the frontispiece. What a shame. And then actually they used the inside the front cover and the front end paper as their math paper. What a shame. What a shame. Uh, we got a couple more odd volumes of uh, the Iliad of Homer. Again, translated by Pope, volume four, published in 1767. Let's see what this one is. 
That's volume three, published in 1771. The works of Virgil, translated by John Dryden, volume three, 1795. Uh, what is going on in that frontispiece? Kind of looks like murder. Why is um? Why is an angel holding a torch to his arm? Is she saving him or killing him? I'm not completely sure. Let's see. Her molder, her moldering torch, impressed with her full force, she plunged into his breast. Okay. So she plunged her torch into his breast. Hmm. Check out his helmet there on the floor. It's pretty cool. Cool illustration nonetheless. A little gory, but... At least by uh, the standards back then. Here we have the um, poets of Great Britain. Um, this is who is this? William Congreve and Joseph Addison, 1778. Looks like we got Milton. I think um, some odd Milton volumes. This is Paradise Lost, published in 1766. Uh, let's see, in 12 books, this is like book one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the first half of Paradise Lost. I don't think I have the second one, but this looks like another um, odd volume of Milton. Um, this one contains Paradise Regained in four books, published in 1752. And I think this does have the complete Paradise Regained. Yep, books one through four. And then it also has a few other uh, works by Milton. A Mask. Um, <laughs> Simpson Agnosticus. See, we've got the works of Pope, um, being the first of his letters. This is volume five, published in 1764. His letters to Mr. Wykerly, Mr. Wykerly, to Mr. Walsh. Oh, letters to a lady. The wits would say that this must needs to needs be a dull letter because it is a married one. I am afraid, indeed, you will find. That spirit there is must be on the side of the wife, and the husband's part, as usual, will prove the dullest. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, try not to knock these over. All right, here we have The Beauties of Spectators, Tattlers, and Guardians, Volume 1, published in 1792. Anatomy. Those who were skilled in anatomy among the ancients concluded from the outward and the inward make of a human body that this was the work of a being transcendently wife and powerful. As the world grew more enlightened in this art, their discoveries gave them fresh opportunities of admiring the conduct of providence in the formation of a human body galen was converted by his direction by his dissect oh was was converted by his dissections and could not but own a supreme being upon a survey of this his handiwork cool little ex excerpt on anatomy uh, looks like a french book volume two Published in 1731. No hablo francés. See what we got here. It looks like a book on Jesus by Jacob Bohm. 
published in 1722 in Berlin, and I think that's French, isn't it? I don't think that's German, but it looks like it was published in Berlin. Huh, isn't that weird how a 1722 they printed a French book in Germany? Interesting. Let's see, it looks like we got another um, volume of British poem, poets. This one is the Poetical Works of James Thompson. No date. Let's see there. It looks like they wrote 1794, and I would guess it is definitely from the 1790s. Looks like another French volume of Fontaine. Uh, this is volume two, published in 1758. Got another um, volume of Alexander Pope, volume four, published in 1764. Night Thoughts by Edward Young. A Complaint or Night Thoughts on Life, Death, and Immortality by Edward Young, Volume 1, 1798. There's Mr. Young himself. Looks like another French volume. Volume 3. Again, lots of odd volumes, but it's cool to just have an odd volume from 1738. The Messelle de Paris. Check out that little woodcut illustration. Pretty cool. Uh, this is an old beat up Bible. It's in horrible condition, but it is, um, I think it's 18th century. It's missing the first title page. But sometimes if that happens, if it doesn't have a first title page, um, go back a little further in the book to find the second title page. Um, because usually the second title page is a little less likely to go missing. So here we do have the New Testament of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, published in 1773 in Oxford. So again, nice little tip of the day. If uh, the first few pages are missing and you don't have that title page, um, you usually go back a little further in the book and you can find the New Testament title page. Oh, this is a book on naval history. It's missing the title page, so that one, um, got to do a little research to figure out what exactly this one is. Um, we got a volume two and three of Hogarth's works. His, uh, artwork or printing work. I think this one is really nicely illustrated. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. What is going on there? Getting lots and lots and lots and lots of illustrations in these books. Alright, last one, and I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Looks like just an odd volume of the History of England by Smollett. Published, this is volume 2, published in 1758. Nope, 1750. Yep, 1758. See what this cover looks like. It covers the reign of Henry the First, Henry the Second, Richard the First, King John, King Henry the Third. Yep, Henry the First through Henry the Third. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it.